this is Jill Marie Domino from Dippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. And look what I found at the Dollar Tree. How cute is this? When I saw this hanging there and I saw these little bunny tails, I knew I would have a perfect project for this. And it's going to look like this. How cute is this? With just a little bit of transformation and I did some decoupaging, I was able to make it in some functional decor. Isn't that cute? Let's get started. The first couple of things I did when I got it home was to remove these little bunny tails and to take off the little hanger. Now, when I took the bunny tails off, um, some of the paper ripped, but that's really okay because we're going to be covering that anyway. And here's the little hanger. All right. Signs from the Dollar Tree, I mean, they're very nice and they have a lot of glitter and that's part of their allure. The only problem is this glitter sometimes comes off and I love glitter. I don't like it to go all over the place. So what I do is I cover the entire sign with decoupage, uh, Mod Podge. Here is the one I'm using and this is what I do. Now, I'm going to be pouring the Mod Podge on top of the sign. I'm telling you that because as I spread this around with the brush, whoop, that's a lot. <laughs> um, I don't want to dip because I don't want to get any of the glitter inside the glue. So I'm just going to take the, uh, the Mod Podge and I'm going to pretty generously go over the whole thing. I'm especially paying attention to where that glitter is like that. Make sure you use a nice big brush like I'm using, go right to the edges. I just do the entire thing like that. And remember, don't worry about that. We're going to cover that up. It's not going to be a problem. You'll see. Okay, a little bit more. Oops, here we go. I did put it on kind of thick, but you really need to because you want to get into all of those little crevices. You want to make sure all of that glitter is very well sealed before we can move on. See, make sure before we can move on to the next step. Okay, so let's give this a little bit of time to dry. The Mod Podge is now dry. This glitter is sealed and it's not gonna go anywhere. And as you can see, it even dried clear. So you don't have to worry about seeing the Mod Podge. The next thing I did was to hide where the little pieces of paper came off uh, when I took the bunny tails off. And I just used a sponge pouncer like this. I'm using white chalk paint. This is the type I like to use Waverly and I'm just pouncing the paint into it. See? And I'm just going just like that to put a little bunny tail on it. You're really not going to see it, but you want to make sure that where the paper was ripped, you're not going to see that either. All right. On to the next step, which is our suction cup hooks. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They were clear, which meant I have to put a couple of coats of the white chalk paint on. Now, just so you know, you cannot just put them on like this and expect the suction to hold it in place. It's not going to, you have to glue it. I'm gonna show you what I did. I used two different glues. I used E6000, which is a very, very strong glue, takes a couple of days to completely cure. And I also used my hot glue gun. Now, the hot glue gun, it's gonna make it stick right away. The E6000 is going to, in a couple of days, make sure that it just doesn't fall, uh, fall off. It should stay on for a long time. All right, so let's do that. All right. I use this on a lot of things, but I am working with glass. This is like one of my go-to glues. It is so strong, love E6000. Okay, so I put a little E6000 on. Now we're gonna do some hot glue. That. Just remember the hot glue that's going to cool and it's going to stick right away and then that E6000 is going to make it more permanent. Okay so I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to place it right on top of the little bunny tail and I'm going to press it down like that. Just make sure it's straight because you want the hook to be straight just like that. Let's see. Okay see that's good. Now we just want to let that cool off. I've attached all the little suction cup hooks and they're cooled off so I know they're not going to move yet. 
To finish this, I actually took some of this nautical rope and I hot glued it all the way around. So that's one of the things you can think about when you're finishing off your sign. Now I want to move on to the fun things we can make to hang on to these. Okay, the first thing I did is I did some carrots. I got these at the Dollar Tree. There were four in the pack. The only thing I did was I glued on a little bit of this rope, okay? And then you can just hang it like that right on there. It's very, very simple. If you like the farm look, you can take the same carrots and then just add a little bit of white paint. Okay, on to the next thing. Also very easy. I took little bunches of flowers like this, on this one, I actually took some beading that I had laying around and I glued it. And now I can use that to hang right onto my nice little sign. Here's another one. This one, I just used some thread. And you can do that. And you can hang these all the way across if you want to. Of course, it's your sign. <laughs> you want to make it for you. Okay. The next thing I did, and I'm going to show you all these at the end also. So don't, um, don't worry. I'm going to show it to you again is the washi tape. Okay, I was gonna put this aside. All right, I have like a ton of washi tape and I hardly ever use it. And I found this worked really good on the eggs. These are just plastic eggs. They're very inexpensive. You can get them at most stores. I know the Dollar Tree def definitely had it. The only thing I wanna tell you is washi tape, some of it is like plastic and some of it is like uh, masking tape. So it's kind of more like paper. I'm going to recommend that you use the masking tape type, not the one that is um, like plastic. It didn't stick well. Okay, so I, here's what I did. Here's my roll of washi tape. Of course, the hardest part is finding the end. There it is. <laughs> and all I did was take a scissor like this, and I just cut little pieces off like that. I'll do a couple. Okay, and I just started collaging it on the egg like that. Now, I saw someone do something similar to this, and they used little pieces of napkin, and I thought, oh, this has adhesive on it all way, um, already. It's just so much easier to do it that way. Um, here's another washi tape one I did. This was very pretty. It had like a black print. On this particular one, I actually mixed up a couple of the different washi tapes. Here is one. Here is the other one, and this one is finished. I put a little hanger on it, and let me remind you, before you do any of these eggs and you wanna hang it, most of them have a hole in it. You wanna put the hanger on first before you do any decorating. And on there, I, I add a little bit of paper flowers and this cute little pearl button. Here's another cute little ornament I made using some eggs I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, they come six in a pack like that, and it's so cute because it looks like it's an egg carton. And I took them out. I didn't do any painting or anything like that. All I did was take some ribbon. Um, this is just very thin ribbon. There's a hole on the top. You want to put the ribbon inside the hole. Take a little bit of hot glue, just a little, and put it on there, okay? So what that's going to do is that's going to keep the ribbon in place. Now, as you can see, I didn't stop there. That was kind of plain. What I did is I started to add some flowers. Now, the only thing I really had, I don't do a lot of florals, was paper flowers, which I absolutely love. And all you really have to do is place them on top of the egg like that. And then I went ahead and I used um, one of these little self-stick pearl buttons. And all you have to do is take one of them off and then put it right in the middle, still a little sticky <laughs> from the hot glue, like that. Okay, now it's I can just continue to add more until it looks like this. I added a bunch more flowers. Look how cute that is. Where's my little sign? I wanna bring it out here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hang it on there so you can see. Look how cute that is, they really look nice. Okay, now we're going to move on to some decoupage. Now I'm going to move into showing you how you can decoupage on eggs using napkins. Look how cute that bunny is. And this is really very easy too. So let's get started on that. I'll put that aside and I'll show you that in a minute. Now. 
these are done with plastic eggs, so this is nothing expensive. It's not a, you know, an expensive project to do. Um, however, I will tell you that these eggs, believe it or not, there is different qualities in these eggs. I ended up getting my eggs from Target. I found the ones I was finding at the Dollar Tree had all these little pieces of plastic, um, probably from the mold sticking out, and they kept ripping my napkin. So I found these, they're nice and smooth, and these were the best to use when decoupaging. Okay, so you want to paint it. Again, I'm going to be using the white chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to paint it using a sponge pouncer. You guys must know I really love these by now. And I'm going to take the pouncer, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna pounce it into the paint like that. And then I'm just gonna start doing the eggs. Make sure you separate the eggs um, because this way you can just place them down to dry, right? They would roll around if you did it the other way. So you just wanna do this. I found that after I went around the entire egg and it dried, I found it needed another coat of paint. So you just wanna to continue to do that until it's covered and it dries. And now we're gonna move on to the next part, which is, don't be in a rush. I made a mistake because I didn't, I skipped this part and that is to add your string, okay? If you are planning on hanging this, this is very, very important. Um, separate your egg. You can see there's little holes inside. All right, you just want to thread your string in there, tie it in a knot, maybe put a little bit of hot glue. And once that's done and cooled, now we can move on to decoupaging. Okay, now this is the napkin that I chose. Here it is, very, very pretty. It has butterflies on, I really like this one. Here it is, I started doing one. And now I'm going to show you how you can put the butterflies on this egg. I'm not gonna take this napkin and wrap it around because it's not going to work. I have to take these little butterflies and put them on you know, one at a time individually and that's not hard to do. I'm going to show you. We're going to use what's called a water brush. Um, a water brush has a tube of water in the top and here there is a little brush. The water feeds through the tube into the brush and this is what I'm going to use to do that little deckled edge. I'm going to hold one up so that when I place it down onto the egg, those edges are going to blend in. So here's my napkin. The first thing you want to do is separate the plies. I'm only using the top ply. There you go. The top ply is thin, it's the printed ply, and this is the one, oops, this is the one we always use when we're decoupaging, and you could put the uh, extra plies aside. Now, to get that deckled edge, I'm just going to take my water brush and I'm going to go around the butterfly like that. And now I'm just going to kind of pull and pick at where that water was put down, so I'm going to have a nice deckled edge. Now, if you cut these butterflies out, I mean, unless you cut them exactly out, you're going to see an edge. When you use a scissor, that's a defined edge. When you go to decoupage it, you're going to see that. I don't want to see it. I want it to blend in. Okay, so let's put some of these butterflies onto this egg. Okay, give me one second. Okay. I did a whole bunch. <laughs> I was a little prepared. All right, so I need a brush. I don't have. A I do have a brush. I just had to go and find it. Okay, now when I'm doing this egg, um, it's curvy. Um, jars are like this. A lot of times, things like this, you put them down to do them, and they roll around, and it's really hard to do any decoupaging on them. I found that. If you take a basket, this is just a cheap pla uh, plastic basket. I took a bag, I just put in some rice, and then I just made like a little groove. And when I do that, I can take my egg and rest it right in there. Look, and it's not going to go anyplace, and I'm going to be able to decoupage it very, very easily. Okay, now, here's the little butterflies. I've already done a decal edge on. I'm going to pull them out, and I'm going to show you how to put them on. This is like the fun part. I mean... If you're on my channel, you know that I absolutely love decoupage. Um, this, to me, is really the funnest part uh, about doing these eggs. Okay, so here's my Mod Podge. Oh, I have my Mod Podge. You don't have to look for that. Of course, now I have to open it. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my brush. I like using an angled brush, just so you know. I find it works best with decoupaging. All right. 
I'm going to take it. I'm going to put the glue onto the egg like this. Okay, I'm going to take one of my butterflies. Um, let's do this green one. And I'm just going to put it down like that. Now I'm just going to make sure that I'm putting glue, okay, everywhere behind it like that. And I'm just going to go like this with my brush. Okay, just like that. Now, there is one thing you're going to need to use, and that is saran wrap. Well, here's my saran wrap. It's just cheap plastic wrap. And what I'm going to do, this is why you need the rice, is I'm just going to press down on that butterfly and I'm going to smooth it. I'm doing this for a couple reasons. It's going to stick better. And I also don't want to have any of those, you know, those pesky wrinkles. All right, and we're just going to pull it off like that. All right, we'll take a look. That's really nice. Let's put another one on. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do this one. All right. And we'll just kind of play around with where you want it to go. I'm going to put it right there. And again, with the glue, I'm just going to put it on underneath like this. Now, you notice I'm holding it up. I'm doing that because these are small pieces. So I just kind of want to have an idea as to where to put the Mod Podge. Okay. Look, I'm going to lift it up some more glue put it down like that okay I'm just going to put a little bit more on top all right and again with the saran wrap I'm gonna play see how this helps it really does help it's not rolling anywhere I'm gonna put the saran wrap back on top and I'm gonna smooth it out had a little wrinkle there now it's gone <laughs> okay all right and we're going to pull it off. And I'll tell you, before I forget, this is one of the reasons why I like using chalk paint. This is the paint that I use. Chalk paint has a little bit of texture, and it actually grabs the napkin better. All right, one more, okay? Let's do this little orange one. All right. Love butterflies. Butterflies are so popular, and birds also popular. Um, I think with spring... Uh, and doing Easter eggs. A lot of times we think bunnies and we think florals, but you know, why not think butterflies too? All right, I'm gonna take my little butterfly. And again, you just wanna kind of angle it to where you think it's going to look good and where it's gonna fit. Same thing, I'm just gonna go like that. The brush, and there's a little bit more glue on top, which is good. Put it down there so it doesn't roll away. Saran wrap. And just smooth it out like that and then just pull it away whoop okay see it was starting to pull up that's okay all that means is you want to change where you pull up the plastic see now it's fine all right that part still lifted a little bit I'm just going to take my saran wrap and I'm just going to push it down like that and it's perfect. What you're going to do is you're going to take all the rest of your little pieces of butterfly and you're gonna go over the entire egg. Look how pretty that's gonna be. I wanna show you some more of the Easter eggs that I did and the napkins I used. I'm hoping I'm going to inspire you to make some of these um, for spring or for Easter. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the napkin that I used. And let me just remind you, I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs. They have a really good selection of napkins and they keep adding napkins all the time. You can go to their website, www.vippies.com. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them into this. I actually decoupage one of those plastic eggs too. And that's what I'm putting all of my eggs in if I'm not going to be hanging them. So that's that one. This one I loved. It's very, very pretty. And with the type of napkin I used, which is this one, I really could do a nice collage. You can see I just took little pieces of the napkin. Okay, now I know my sister loved these. <laughs> Any of you that are really fond of gnomes, I did three of them. Here they are. There we go. That's three little gnomes. This is the napkin that I used, isn't it cute? And as you can see, to finish them off, I gave each of them a little pink 
button, pearl button nose. Okay, we'll put those aside. This is one of my favorite napkins, which is this bunny napkin, and it has, let me get it, it has a goose, and it has some little chicks, um, ducks, it has these little eggs, and this was so much fun to do. And again, I just collaged it all the way around. And remember, these are just the cheap plastic eggs. In fact, this one, I'm going to put this over here. These actually stand up on their own. So if I don't want to hang it and I don't want to put it in the basket, I can just let it stand up on its own. Okay, we'll put that over there. Here's another egg I started. I did not finish this one yet, but I want to show you the napkin. Um, this is the napkin that I use. It's very, very pretty um, pansies, but this napkin is called a sniff. They call it a sniff because it kind of looks like a tissue but it's not a tissue. It really is a facial napkin. It's just portable. It's just something you can keep in your pocket. Okay, so that is the napkin. <laughs> that is the napkin I used for that egg, and we'll put that over there. Um, this is the first one that I showed you. Again, this is another one of those sniffs, and you know what's good about these sniffs? When you open it up, you get eight images. Most napkins, you get four. I think you get eight of them on these. That makes it even more fun. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's the napkin I used with that one. And we'll put that over here. Now, here is another one, also a napkin. This is the one I used. It's, sorry, stuff is sticking together here. Okay, um, it's a very, very pretty rose and it's got um, some of the vine on it and some of the leaves. And again, I just did the same thing. Remember, I deckled the edge of the pieces of napkin so that it will blend into the egg. See how nicely that blends in? Now, I know I have some fabric uh, crafters out there. So I said, oh, I don't usually work with crafters, uh, excuse me, fabric, but I thought, oh, I would give it a try. So this is the piece of fabric that I used and I did glue it on there. I did do it in pieces. When you work with fabric, I find you have to kind of keep pulling and pressing until it really adheres to the egg. And I thought that came out really pretty too. Look at this pretty little bunny. Um, I decoupaged this with a napkin. It's a beautiful rose napkin. But this bunny was far from looking like this when I first bought it. I got it, looks like this. They come four in a pack from the Dollar Tree. I removed the tail and I took out the eyes and then I just gave it one coat of white chalk paint and then I decoupaged it just like I did with the eggs. I'm going to show you really quick how to do that. This is the napkin that I used. It has all these pretty little blue flowers on it. And I removed them like I did last time. I used the water brush. Here it is. That's what I just did. And I deckled the edges. So now I have all of these little pieces of the napkin, the little flowers, and I'm ready to decoupage it right onto this bunny. I mean, I cannot believe that this is the same thing. Okay, now here's my Mod Podge. I have a brush. Okay, here's my bunny. Now, the bunny, it has um, some kind of glitter on it. Well, kind of glitter. So it gives it a lot of texture. So decoupaging these is actually pretty easy. Okay, let's do one on this side. And I'm gonna take my glue. It's nice to have this to hold onto, by the way, when you paint it. And I took a piece of styrofoam and when they were drying, I just stuck this right into the styrofoam. Um, they come with the little um, sticks. So you might as well use it. All right. I'm going to take a napkin. Let's see this piece. And I'm going to place it down like that. You know, remember when you do these, trying to get an idea as to placement when you're putting them down. I'm just going to go like this. Put a little glue like that. Very nice. Now, of course, we still need our saran wrap. I put this down. Okay, a little bit of saran wrap over it. And I'm just going to press down and smooth it like that. If you have scraps of napkins that you keep, I mean, you all know I hoard little scraps of napkin. Um, this is a great way to use them up. Um, let's put another one on. I still have a lot of glue on my brush. All right, I'm just gonna put it on like that. Okay. And let's see, we'll just put this one down here. 
like that. Move it a little bit. There we go. Just make sure I have glue underneath it all, just like that. I'm just going to use my brush. Make sure there's glue there. Just tuck it down like that. Make sure there's glue. Okay. Then we're going to use our saran wrap. Just smooth it down like that. Peel it off. Look how pretty that is. Oh, let's do one more. I love decoupaging. I have to do one more. Okay, I have this nice space right in here. I'm going to put some glue in, just like that. Actually, I'm going to remove this stick now. Okay, we don't need that because I want it to wrap around. Nope, there's a little piece. There we go. A little piece sticking up there. Okay. And we're just going to put it down like that. Just make sure. Oh, see? I love this because I'm wrapping it around the bunny. I really do love that. I love how that looks. And it's so easy. Okay. All right. I'm just going to take a piece of saran wrap. And I'm going to just smooth it out like that. Okay. You can do this, right? It's so simple. Pull it off. Go. I have that little piece is still sticking up there. I'm just going to put a little glue there. Look how pretty that is. Very simple. This cost me 25 cents and some napkin scraps. Um, here's another one I did. This is the same napkin I used on this egg, and it was just scraps that I had. The only thing different is on this one, um, I did keep the eyes, and I put a little hanger on it like that. Okay, one more thing I'm going to show you right here. This has absolutely nothing to do with decoupage. I just wanted to share it with you. I saw these at the Dollar Tree. Um, they come three in a pack, these little chicks. Um, they're just so cute. I just couldn't believe how cute they were. I had to take them. I got my little tea lights. I get these at Target. These little um, flameless tea lights, you know, they're battery operated from Target are like the best. And look, I just put it in there. Look how cute that is. I love that. And you know what else they have? They have carrots. Can you believe this? I love this. This would look so cute on um, the table for Easter or for the spring. There we go. We could put it in there, put our carrot top on. Look how cute that is. I just love it. I just love these things for Easter. Okay, I'm going to clear everything off the table. I'm going to set everything up so I can show you all these different things that I made. And I'm going to put them on our little sign that we started with here. I'm going to be right back. Okay, here is my finished bunny sign. And now I have a whole bunch of little things that we just made that I can hang off of all these suction cup hooks. Okay, remember the florals, all you have to do is bunch them up. You can use little um, pearls like that, or you can just use um, some string. Oops, get on there. There you go, look how pretty that is. And these were the speckled eggs that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And you can also hang them on. And the washi tape, don't forget we did the washi tape too. Alrighty, like that. And the Dollar Tree had the cute little carrots, so that's something else that you can hang on there. And of course, we have to go into decoupage. This is one of the decoupage eggs that I did. Any napkins you have, you can use them for decoupaging on eggs. And I also, that pink bunny that I got on the sticks, I decoupaged that too. I put a string on it, a ribbon. And then I can just hang it like that. Look at this. Look around your house and see what you have. Maybe you have some of these things that you can decoupage or you have some flowers. And once you make this with the little hooks, you can keep changing it to any of the things that you want. Maybe even if you have children or grandchildren, they can help you do little things that they can hang on this as well. So I'm really hoping that you're going to give this a try. I hope you like this video and you're going to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. And remember that little bell down there? You want to hit that bell. When you hit that bell, you're going to get a notification every time I put a new video on. I want to thank my sponsor, Lippies Designs. Lippies gives me all the napkins. Please go to their website, which is www.vippies.com. You can visit my Facebook page too, which is decoupage rocket girls and i have a group page decoupage rocket girls as well i want to thank you once again and i'll see you next time